Hello everybody, I'm here with the resident baby boy of Level Up Season, Groovy. What's up? Yeah. I'm good <laughs> With the pink hair. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, came so close, one week away from the yes, finale. Yes, um, yes. How did you feel about that yesterday and how are you feeling this morning? Ah, to be honest, Luca, I'm actually like, I'm still shell shocked to be honest. Like, I never like... Coming to the show, I always said that my goal was to reach the finale. You know, I went as far as even projecting like that I was going to win. But I know that obviously, like, when you come into the show, like, different things will happen, different variables will come in, like, things will happen every single week. But still or still, I still fancy myself, like, being able to make it to the finale. So being so close, yeah. so close, you know, to actually um, realizing that dream, you know, that was, you know, that was like a downer for me. Well, yeah. let's talk about the house, because it was yeah. a very different season. Yeah. You walked into the house, you realized there were two houses. Yeah. You thought you were going to be bonding with Shags. You come out and realize yeah. that you're competing yeah. against him. Yeah. What did you think of level one, level two, and how the season played out? To did you honest, like it? I, yeah, like, I feel like this show, this season is the best ever, to be honest. Like, mind-blowing. You get like walking into the house, being the first person. That was such a massive privilege. Obviously, getting to see you was mad amazing. So, but walking into the house, I was just like, man, this, this place is small. <laughs> like, what's like, going on? Like, what's going on? Because like, yo, I'm I'm such a fan of the show. I've been watching the show for the longest time, man. Did you get like, I imagine to walk into one grand, big, you know, big, uh, big space and everything. But then, like, it was just, it was still beautiful to be honest. Yeah. And obviously, um, not seeing shakes, you know, after. 11 other people came through the door and they realizing that, you know, that was a big brother and I addressed us and I was like, ah, okay, where? What's, what's going on? <laughs> and then we had to spend Saturday and then Sunday. But then I think by Sunday there was a kind of like a feeling that something else was, was yeah. happening. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's, go to, let's go to beauty because hmm. that um, was a very, yeah. still is a talking point mm. about your narrative in that house. Mm. Um, you and Beauty hit it off almost from day one, it looked like. You guys, you know, started your thing. There were kisses, there were very intimate yeah. moments. Yeah. Um, but you also had your issues, yeah. you know, back and forth. You said that you guys were not a, an item. Yeah. So you don't feel like you had any loyalty to her. Yeah. I don't know if I'm quoting you yeah, right. Yeah, okay. So are you saying that what we saw was just, was nothing? What, what, did, what did you feel for her? And why was it so yeah. quick to move on? Okay, um, okay, so let me just obviously correct one or two statements that were made. So um, the reason why I said we were not an item is because of the fact that, um, because of the argument that we had or the, what, the events that transpired before she left, you know, um, I feel like Beauty, you know, when we have arguments, she's very, how do I put it now? Beauty is normally a very opinionated person. She has a strong personality and everything. But I feel like she, she, she was kind of aggressive with the whole, you know, situation and everything. And, you know, a lot of times, it wasn't, it's not the first time that I would fight and she'd be like, she's done. She's not this and this and this and this and that. Like, she has broken up with me. Like, she, we, like she broke up with me because of plates. Do you understand? Like, do you get like, it's, it's a very crazy situation. So I just feel like it's, it's, it's a, it was always like a back and forth between us. You get, but but then the, the events that transpired to her leaving, I feel like it was just really very like on the scale of it, I feel like it was a very serious situation. It was really embarrassing for me because like you know the, from from the, if this thing was an in-house thing, and then the whole levels now go to find out that you know something something was transpiring, and it was from the party downstairs, move upstairs, and the gas just kept growing and just kept going and the whole you know the whole situation plus I heard that she said some other things about me but then one thing she was very clear on the fact that she was done with me and that she never she didn't want anything to do with me I mean that's why I said that when she left I just felt like there was nothing to hang on to I even tried to you know to speak to her on a lighter note on the Sunday when she got disqualified and she just chased it for me mate you guess like why are you talking to me do you think you can do this and all those kind of things so I felt like there was just no there was it, it was it was there was just nothing. You so know, what did you nothing. feel for her before that sun? Yeah, I really I, no, no, I really like beauty. And, and I really yeah, I really like beauty. Okay, so I mean I think I kinda hear you saying that okay at the point when she left, yeah, there was really nothing solid holding you back. I think what just confused a lot of people was how quickly yeah. you moved on. It was literally I think the next Saturday party, there were already kisses with Fina. So if yeah. people wondered, I mean if you break up with somebody, yeah. even if it's such a, yeah. it was in such a hard way, yeah. how were you so quick to move on quickly to quick, somebody quick, quick, else? Quick. Oh, that was what threw people okay, out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm not going to lie to you, Buka. What I said was that in my heart, I was like, I don't want to have anything to do with anybody for at least, at least for one week, one full week, I want to have my mind in a space. And like I said, because of the resentment that I had towards beauty, I didn't really feel like there was anything to hold back onto. So I just felt like if, I, if I'm in a position where I see somebody that I like, like I'm not going to do oh because of her, because I feel like she just, she matched me for grand. 
<laughs> you understand? So, like, you know, anyhow, anyhow. So, my whole, my thought process was for a full week. I don't want to have any entanglement or anything with anybody. Obviously, I knew that, you know, Fina had been throwing comments here and there and, you know, that kind of thing. And then, obviously, with the whole Chumsy thing, Jigger. But I wasn't ready to go for any of that. So, it Jigger. just happened. So, it just happened, like, to be honest, like... Finally, on Beauty, looking yeah. back on how the entire scenario played out, yes. anything you would have done differently? Uh, no, to be honest. I mean, Ibuka, to be honest, uh, I, like I said, I had a conversation with Big Brother, and Big Brother just made me understand that, you know, that um, I did my best. You know, and, and at the same time, you know, she's an adult, and you can't obviously control, um, you can't obviously control some certain things. And like, the fact that I actually made an effort, yeah. and it was, you know, and um, it was received in a, in a different way. Um, yeah, Do you think you guys can be cool? Amaka, because Amaka too came out of nowhere. <laughs> Did you know? Because you're now babe yeah. was supposed to come and broker, yeah. you know, a the, relationship, a relationship yeah. for you and her. And yeah. then she entered the place. How did you know Amaka liked you? Did she ever tell you? No. And when you found out, what did you think about Fina being in the mix and how she handled it? Joe, like, it was crazy. No, like, I didn't even know about the whole Amaka thing. To be honest, this whole thing had started from when we were already in level, like, when we were already in level two. Do you get, like, it started, like, I always noticed the advances, the, the comments Fina would make. Oh, strawberry boy, sweet boy, fine boy, you know that kind of thing. You know, and Amaka was always most, like, most times by her side and all this kind of thing. But I feel like Amaka was the least expressive of, of them. Obviously, Beauty came with her own pee, like, this is my guy, all this kind of pee. Then Lilibai was, you know, Lilibai, as soon as she realized what was happening between myself and Beauty, she just, you know, backed away and I did the same. And then, um, obviously, with Amaka, I had no idea. And so how do you think, sorry, how, what do you think of how Fina handled it? How Fina handled it downstairs? Um, I think she, I think she did her best to be honest. <laughs> I think she did her best, yes. But, but then there's obviously, like I keep telling her, like obviously I moved for you, like in the end I'm the one who moved for you. But um, I keep telling her that I feel like she's, you know, she actually liked me. You understand? And it was, it was hard for her. I think she was just put in a very difficult situation with the whole Amaka thing as far. This is my friend. You know, I, I don't know if Amaka actually realized that she now also liked me as well. I think what we've learned so far. Um, Groovy liked beauty enough, but things ended abruptly. Yeah. Kind of liked Levi, but she didn't show up. Um, you didn't really know that Amaka liked you, so you didn't move there. Yeah. She would know. have dated Chomzi if they yeah. were at the same level. Yeah. And Groovy and Fina, I confirmed sheep. Any other person I missed out? <laughs> I have not asked. Because you're at least long guy. <laughs> you know, the season, they're yeah. away from all of that. Yeah. What would you say was your highlights of the season? Or some of your highlights. Some of my highlights. Um, first of all, walking into you know walking into that house, you know, uh, um, it was just beautiful. To be honest, I enjoyed the tax. You know, I enjoyed some of the tax. You know, they were really you know wonderful. Um, even the acting experiences that I had, yeah, yeah. you know, you surprised me sometimes. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> you know the yeah, acting experiences that I had, like you know, <laughs> like you know, just you know, just being able to you know to do something like that. And I enjoyed the parties Good. as well. You know, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed the parties as well. And just you know, just getting to. To relieve the experience and obviously getting to the ninth week, I think um, you know it's, it's big also deal. a highlight. It's a big deal to be honest. It like I give glory to God and everybody like this, <laughs> and all my supporters and everybody that kept me so far. I love you so good. I love you so much. Ruby loves you so much. Give it to the world. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now you're out of the house. I know you talked about it a bit yesterday, but yeah. what do you do you have any sort of idea what your plans are for us at the show? I know you used to model, yeah. you have your business on yeah, Lagos yeah, Island, yeah. Um, you've explored acting. Yeah, yeah. What are your plans, you think? Oh my good to the world now, like like I said, um, I came into this house with those three things, you know, those three solid um, foundations. And now that I'm outside, you know, I want to explore them. I want to I want to, you know, you know, broaden my, you know, broaden my, my, my range in a kind of way you get like, because obviously now I'm coming outside with, you know, with the level, with a different kind of exposure and um, people are going to want to listen to me. I hope people are going to want yeah. to give me opportunities. Brands are going to want to work with me and all those kind of things. So with all the experiences that I have had, like, I want to take my business to the next level you get. I'm obviously looking at more shorts, more branches, more stores, more branches. I want to work on my own, you know, I'm out, you know, working on my own brand prior to coming to the show. So I want to work on my own brand, you know, I'm going to keep the secret of what is going to be called, okay. you know, so hopefully I'm going to, you know, feed you a book. You know, because your body does carry <laughs> feet, so, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, thanks, man. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Ibuka. Ladies and gentlemen, so Groovy. Thank you so much. <laughs>